please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. All right, let's get warmed up. Lie down onto your back. So just take a moment to get centered, to get grounded. You can take whatever position is most comfortable. I'm lying down with the knees bent, feet the width of the mat. So just let the shoulders be heavy, let the hips be heavy into the ground. With your eyes closed, connect inward to your breath. So feel your breath flow in through your nose and out through your nose. All right, then take the same position of the feet, feet the width of the mat, knees bent. Bring your arms into a cactus position. Let the shoulders be heavy, let the neck spread. As you inhale, stretch your right knee towards your left big toe. As you exhale, come back up to center. Inhale, change sides, stretch the left knee towards the right big toe. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, change sides and slide your right arm overhead like you're reaching sort of something past your fingers, but at the same time, plug the right inner arm bone down into the socket. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, change sides, left knee, left arm, plug the inner arm bone down. Exhale to center. Inhale, change sides and gaze to your right. Exhale to center. Inhale, change sides and gaze to your left. Exhale back to center. Inhale, change sides. Exhale to center. Inhale, change sides. Exhale to center. Then take your feet hip distance apart. <clears throat> As you inhale, arch your lower back, stretch the tip of the tailbone towards the floor. Exhale, flatten through your lower back, tuck the pelvis. Inhale, arch through your lower back. Let the chin release towards the chest. Exhale, flatten through your lower back, stretch the chin away from the chest. Then inhale into neutral, hold the neutral pelvis, bring the right leg up into tabletop, send the right leg forward without the hips twisting, and slowly lower. Bring the leg back up and set the foot down. Change legs, left leg up without your middle twisting. Send the left leg forward, slowly lower. Bring the leg back up, set the foot down. More challenging now. Bring the knees up, tabletop position. Squeeze the abs, send the right leg forward and lower slowly. Back up, knees together. Send the left leg forward, lower slow. Back up, knees together. Stretch your right leg forward and lower slow. Back up, knees together. Send the left leg forward, lower slow. Back up, knees together. Take both arms straight up to the ceiling. Engage your abs. Now send the right leg forward and stretch the left arm back as you exhale. Inhale, back up. Exhale, change sides. 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 Inhale, back up. Hug your knees into your chest. Roll yourself up to seated and come onto your hands and your knees. All right, good, so slide your hands underneath your shoulders. Place your knees right underneath your hips. As you inhale, arch through your back, wheel your chest forward. Exhale, tuck the pelvis, round through your back, draw your navel and spread. Inhale, arch your back. And exhale, round out. Last one, inhale, arch your back. And exhale, round out. So hopefully you feel like you got some fluid movement through your spine. So that will help when you go to do your practices. When you go to do the poses, you'll get better movement coming in and out of the poses. Stretch back to down dog. 
So in down dog, the tendency is for everything to round and sink to the floor. Instead, I want you to pull up, lengthen through the spine, lift the hips and stretch them away from the wrist. Plug down into your hands evenly. Lift from above the kneecaps up into your hip sockets. Let your head drop. Continue to warm up. Shift forward, bring the shoulders over the heel of the hand. Stretch through the toe mounds into the mat. Lengthen. Exhale, glide back into dog pose. Inhale, glide forward into plank. Exhale, stretch back into dog. One more time. Inhale, glide forward into plank pose. This time, add on, pull your right knee up to your chest. Inhale, slowly lower your knee toes an inch above the floor. Exhale, pull your knee back up. Inhale, lower slow. Exhale, pull your knee back up. Step your foot all the way up in between your hands and lower your back knee down onto the mat. Point the toes back. Pin your right hip in as you stretch your left shin down. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your hands down and step back. Shift into plank pose. Pull your left knee up to your chest and round your back out. Inhale, slowly lower your knee. Exhale, pull your knee back up and round out. Inhale, slowly lower your knee. Exhale, pull your knee back up and round out. Step your foot all the way up in between your hands. Lower your back knee down, point your toes back. Reach down through your shin, pin your hip in, raise your arms up. Bring your hands back down to the mat, step back to downward facing dog. From down dog, walk your feet all the way forward. Let your head drop down. Bring your hands onto your hips, root down into your feet, come all the way up to stand. Bring your knuckles to your temples. As you exhale, bring the elbows in, round the chin towards the chest. Inhale, open up your chest, turn the elbows, lift up. Exhale, round, spread across the back of the neck. Inhale, open up your chest. One more time, exhale, elbows come in. Inhale, open up. Then interlock your fingers, turn the palms and reach the arms up, lift up the heels. Exhale, bring your arms back down. Inhale, lift and turn to your right, heels go up. Exhale, back to the center. Inhale, lift and turn to your left. Exhale, back to center. Change the interlock of the fingers. Then inhale, reach up, lift and turn to the right. Exhale, back to center. Lift and turn to the left. Practice balance, back to center. One more time, right up in the middle. Lift the heels up and lower back down. It's just a little warm up for the shoulders, warm up your ankles. All right, now take your feet hip socket distance apart. And as you inhale, sit back into chair pose, stretch your arms forward, press down into the center of each heel bone. And notice when you go to sit into chair, there's gonna be a tendency for your knees to wanna to knock in like this. But instead, I want you to activate your leg muscles. So as you push the center heels down, pull your knees back into the hip sockets from the inner and outer knee. The navel draws in, the arms reach forward, but I want you to spread your collarbones at the same time. Raise your arms all the way up and then stand arms at your side. Inhale, go to sit back, press the heels, stretch the arms. Exhale, come back up to stand. Four more times, inhale, sit back. Exhale, stand. Inhale, sit back, press the heels, Utkatasana chair. Exhale, stand. Inhale, sit back. Exhale, stand. Inhale, sit back and hold, press down into the heels, but float the neck long. Soften at the roof of the mouth and the tongue. Then press all the way up to stand. Externally rotate your arms. Take the arms up, overhead. Lift your chest and look up. Exhale the arms back to your side. Inhale, reach your arms up. Look up, touch. Exhale, arms back to the side. Last one will fold, fold forward. Inhale, arms out to the side, up and overhead. 
and exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back, slide the hands up to your shins, reach your heart forward. Step into plank pose, one leg at a time. Find your plank with your chest open and hold here. All right, so now we're gonna do a little practice to learn Chaturanga. So for this practice, I have two blocks. The two blocks are gonna remind me how far down I'm gonna go on my Chaturanga. <clears throat> so we've been practicing on the hands and the knees, lowering and lifting back up. Heck, you know what, before we do that, let's just practice that to start to get the arm muscles familiar with what we're gonna do again. Okay, so the shoulders come over the wrist. I'm long. Like imagine there was a string I could pull up your spine. So from the tail, pulling straight up through the crown, pull the string tight as you shift forward and lower to elbow height and lift back up. That's one. Two, slowly lower to control. Pull the string long up through the crown. Back up. Last one. And back up. Okay, so now let's try the full deal. The first block is gonna go for your hip bones. Next block is for your chest. If you don't have blocks at home, you could use something else that's about this height. All right, so I'm gonna find plank pose. I pull the string, the spine string long. Then, oh wait, I'm gonna miss it when I go to shift forward. Okay, there we go. Then I shift forward and I lower slowly until the pelvis gets onto the blocks. <clears throat> the shoulder heads lift, the collarbones spread. I push through the heels and I lift my knees as I reach my chest forward. To lift back up, instead of the chest going first, I'm gonna to try to squeeze the legs and lift everything at the same rate. Let's try it one more time. Lower slowly, then watch. It's not the worm. Don't like roll yourself up and do the wave to come up. Instead, lift straight up. Squeeze your legs, squeeze your glutes, Knees up, navel in, lift straight up. Downward facing dog. All right, then walk your feet all the way up to the top of the mat. Uttanasana. Press into your feet, inhale, come all the way up. Exhale the arms to your side. Let's practice it one more time. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step into plank pose. Let's just try one block now for your hips. Shift forward, lower slowly, let the pelvis rest onto the block. Let the chest come into that same line. Shoulder blades on the back, chest open. Now firm the legs, engage your core, and press straight up, and back to down dog. Hold in down dog, stretch the legs, Pull from above your knees up into your hips like we've been practicing and let the head drop. All right. Then look in between your hands, step walker, hop up to the top. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Press to stand, inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, the arms to your side. Tree pose, rickshawson. Bring your right heel up to your left inner thigh. Bring your palms together. Open up across your chest. Then take your arms up. So let's practice the same actions we were practicing in Chaturanga and in chair pose. As you push down into your grounded heel, lift the muscles above your knee. Instead of, if I just let my left knee hang lazy, the pose will start to sink like this. And you see that like my chest sinks, the whole energy of the pose looks different than if I pull from above my knee up. Heel presses down, I connect up into the hip socket, and that does something in my core. It wakes me up so that my spine becomes more erect. Bring your arms down, change legs. Take your heel way up high towards the root of your thigh. Then press down right into the center of your standing leg heel which is tricky and you know, you wanna to roll to the outer foot. Keep pressing the center heel down, pull the knee up, then take your arms up. Don't let the thigh sink, pull it up, reach up through your fingers and breathe. And bring your arms back down, 
release your leg, separate your legs wide apart, and let's practice a couple of standing postures. I like to have blocks handy, spread your arms, turn the right leg all the way out, turn your left leg in slightly. Triangle pose. So same instructions. As I push down into the center of each heel, from above the knees I want to pull up, all the way up into the hip sockets, and you'll, you'll, you can see how much more open I stand when I work my legs like that versus if the legs are lazy. Pull up to the knees and reach out over your right leg. Place your hand down onto the block or onto the floor. As you stretch down evenly into the heels again, draw the energy up through the legs and open up across your chest. Press into your feet and come back up. Turn the legs to the other side. So the left leg turns all the way out. The right leg turns in slightly. I find the center of the heels. I pull up from the knees as I spread my arms. All right, then reach out. And just notice the tendency to twist on the feet. Could you find the feet even again as you stretch here? Reach into your feet, come back up to stand, feet parallel, find the center heels again, lift from above your knees, warrior two. Turn the right leg out, left leg in slightly, bend your right knee. All right, so on this front leg, the energy from the outer knee wants to sink forward and down. So instead, like in chair, I pull back into the hip socket, press the center heel, and then I'm going to see if I can go deeper by spreading my groins instead of the knee twisting in. The hand goes down now. Let's go into side angle. Put your hand down on the outside of your heel and take your left arm all the way over. Keep that outer knee fastened back into the hip socket. Stretch through the back leg. And breathe the spine straight long. Come back up, turn your legs to the other side, bend your left knee, fasten the outer knee into the hip, find the center of your heels, breathe. Put your hand down on the outside, take your arm overhead. Then press into your feet, come back up, parallel your feet, stand tall, hands on your hips, tip forward, put your fingertips down. Lengthen through the front of your spine. Again, find center heels, lift from above the knees. I know it's becoming redundant. Then start to walk the hands back, but same instruction we're working in the standing poses. Let your head drop. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands onto your hips. Come all the way up to stand. Bring your feet together. And we're going to do another balancing pose. Eagle. All right, so bend your knees like you're doing chair. Then take your left leg, cross it up and over your right. So I want you to allow the left hip to turn so that you can get the double hook of the foot. So I hook the big toe behind the leg. If you're unable to hook the big toe, if it puts too much pressure on your knee, 
then you don't have to do the double hook. You can just hang the foot up to the side. Otherwise, you let the hip come around, you hook. Then from the right front hip bone, you're gonna pull up to your left chest and turn, and then cross the left arm under the right. If the shoulders will allow for the double hook, you can do that. Otherwise, you can just cross your arms like so. Find the center heel again, and instead of the knee hanging, pull from above the knee back into the hip socket. Oh, now feel your outer hip turn on. So you're not just sinking into your joints. Then uncross your arms and your legs, stand a mountain. Just feel how much more energetic it is when you're actually using your muscles properly. Kind of cool, sit back, then cross your knee up and over. Let the hip come around so that you can get the foot to hook. Then lift from above your hip up to your shoulder and cross the right arm goes under this time. Press the left center heel and fasten the knee back into the hip socket from above the knee. Uncross your arms and your legs, stand them out. All right, now turn to the front of your mat. <clears throat> Take your arms to your side, externally rotate. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, arms down. Step your left foot back, big step back. Spread your arms again, externally rotate. Reach up and touch. Bend your right knee. Come back up, change legs, step your left foot forward, right foot back, press your right heel, spread your arms, reach up, and bend your left knee. Bring your arms down, Step back up, inhale, arms up, exhale, fold forward, inhale, flat back, and step back to plank. Belly back bends, lie down onto your belly, locust pose. Take a strap, towel, or shirt behind your back, take the hand shoulder distance apart. Bring your shoulder blades onto your back, spread your chest open like in Chaturanga. So watch where the shoulder head is. It's above the chest, chest in front of the shoulder head. I stretch the arms back, pull the strap, and then I turn my outer thighs down to the floor. The big toes reach back, I lift and I plug up from above my knees up to the hips. Then from the lift of my belly, I reach my chest forward and I squeeze the legs up an inch. Good, lower yourself down. Round two, bring your hands behind your head, point your elbows forward. Oh, this one's the worst. Okay, <laughs> for this one, it's like the last one, more challenging when the hands are behind the head. All right, so I work my legs, lift my navel to lift my chest, then stretch your legs back. Pull the elbows forward, reach back through your big toes, And release, lower yourself down. I'll have to practice learning to love that one, I guess. Okay, hands at your side, open up across your chest, and then we'll come into Cobra. Start to roll the chest through, and stretch back into child's pose. Let's wind it down mellow today. So lie down on your back.
Hug your right knee into your chest, stretch your left leg out. Then take your knee all the way over to the left. And open your right arm out to the side. Bring your knee back to center and change sides. Left knee comes in and take the knee all the way over to the right. Open the left arm out to the side. Come back to center, hug both knees into your chest. And then take happy baby, reach onto the insides of the knees, grab a hold of the outsides of the feet. Use your breath to spread, to widen across the middle, lower back across the backs of the shoulders. And then release. Shove asana, course pose. Stretch your legs out. Turn your palms to face up. And relax. On your exhalation, start to make a slight constriction in the back of your throat so that your breath makes sound like you're fogging a mirror. See if you can make the same noise on the inhalation with the mouth closed. And on the exhalation. Then let go of the breath control and just relax again. Bend your knees and roll over to your right side. Press yourself up to seated and sit up tall. Bring your palms together with your chest open, lower your head to your heart. 
lift the head, and open the eyes. Thank you. Namaste.